watch this screen just for my microphone. All right, hold on. Hold on. All righty. Sheesh. I apologize to everyone. I am on the late side. The great side, I guess. And sheesh, not a fucking Firefox is being stupid. Yes, I still use Firefox. All right, let's check to see if we are where we need to be. I just I just started the stream and didn't even not even on anything. Sorry I overslept. It happens sometimes when I schedule a stream super early in the day. You got, there's a lot of stuff going in. I, I interjected in the chat said I got Snow Bunny by Candace Owens, who infamously got fired, to, I think today or yesterday or something, some shit like that. But let's check. Let's check the different platforms. Make sure we are A-OK. Okay, we got one, two, three. So, I'll ask it. Are we live? Finally. I said, are. Ooh, whoa, what the hell happened there? Are we 13? No. Are we live? Vigilante wins here on another episode of Friday Night Games. This one, playing some Tekken 8. We'll be playing some Tekken 8. Let me read some of the chat. Got a hot, We start off. Howdy from Tom Jensen. Uh, <laughs> Vigilante Snow Bunny 8. Uh, says Retro Richard. No, it's no Snow Bunny. I did not watch any March Madness. Bro, there was a time when March Madness was the shit. I'm not saying it's still not. I have not watched any any college basketball. It's done for the... And this is the best week. It's the first week. Afterwards, it kind of falls off. But that first week, where there's so much fucking um, basketball all on at once, crazy. Back an hour, back, hunch back an hour, get a hunch an hour, back an hour, hunch back an hour. I don't get it. Uh, oh, it's Di- uh, Andrew Dice Clay, I see. That's do jack shit, but go to the dispensary. There you go. That's a good. That's a good Saturday. Dr. Umar Cotton. <laughs> Dr. Umar is a, um, oh, he, he's one of these, yeah, black power dudes. Yeah, he's a black power uh, dick police dude, but we, on the low, apparently he likes white girls more than anyone. He, he's uh, been through more white meat than Chick-fil-A, allegedly. So he, he tells everyone else, you, you're supposed to date only black people, brother. I think dick policing is gay, bro. I think that's the gayest shit on earth, literally, man. If I don't give a fuck what anybody else does with they with they peen, so why the fuck do you? And, 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 and of course, like you said, it's a gimmick. Okay, I'm glad Papa Cotton couldn't be better. Life's so good, complaints seem pay. That's a good place to be, Papa Cotton. Blowing money on the good shit, the bitches don't get that. There you go, Papa Cotton got life figured out. He's got a show in Vegas. Uh, it was a Lamb of God. He's got life good. Sick new album. So they got a new album. Okay. Shout out to Lamb of God. Dwight, did you do uh do well in that pick and roll? How about some dick? <laughs> Be Diddy, allegedly. Uh no, I did not. I need a vigilante gym session. I hurt my ankle the other day. Ho- I mean, it's healed now. I'm gonna try to start back tomorrow. So we we can do what the time Jensen bless us with as far as the link. What is this? This is, oh, protect the paint. Shaq, what is this? Some Home Depot stuff. Commissioner Gorman, instead of Commissioner Gorman, starting to V-light in the sky. <laughs> that's all like something different. Uh, I appreciate Brutal Morning Wood. And that's when I came in talking about Candace Owens. Uh, I need a vigilante uh, utility bill. I think vigilante pre-workout would probably be Mountain Dew, Tom Jensen. And anti shark repellent, I don't, I don't know. So I'd smash. She just had to keep her uh, traps shut. Say, so I fuck it. She could tell me why everything isn't the wife of his fault. <laughs> that is a lot of her talking points. She had to mumble something, but that's okay. Well, I was a white guy. I own up for my share, but we ain't responsible for all this BS. Nobody responsible for all this BS. Tom Jensen, who I know. Shout out to Utah. And uh, he's, he's he covers the basketball. Dayton versus Arizona, Salt Lake. TCU versus Discount Utah with Mama J. Dope. Which Arizona? U of A or ASU? U of A. Fuck the Cats. Sun Devils. <laughs> they will be in football next season. Scum Devils. Oh, Papa Cotton went to ASU. I didn't know that. If, if crew was in the parking lot for uh, Chicks Count, it does. 
I would die before a chair for BYU. Wow. Fat lot of good it did. I learned more from Vinny Art's channels and three years of art school. Shout out to Vinny Art. Vinny Art's a cool dude. Super cool dude. I haven't been on his channel in a minute. Super cool dude. Kai's here. Snow Bunny by Mercedes. I would let uh, Mercedes Monet Snow Bunny. I heard she's a bitch for real, though. And I've seen weird videos where she's mean to the fans. Omerta 512. I don't know what 512 means. Dempsey. Fish Chozo's here. I may have missed some comments, but I think I got through most of them. I got through most of them. All right. And on that bombshell, let's actually get into the damn game. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. All righty. Oh, 512 is a Lamb of God song, as in Omerta. Uh, as is Omerta and Redneck. Okay. So, what's up? So, I'm not up on Lamb of God. You know, I saw a comment, which is kind of is irrelevant. Kind of not a comment. I saw a Reddit post. Because I now again, I check out the Reddit. And it was in hip hop asking, will the same thing happen to hip hop that happened to rock music where I mean if it does I could care less I don't like mainstream music like that I mean there's a few mainstream artists I can tolerate but I'm not a mainstream guy like that anyway but anyways rock music even though it's still incredibly popular there's still so many sub genres metal seems like it's, it never fell off but um it's not the most mainstream thing where you know when I was younger it was the biggest thing. you know you know what I want to go to See if I can uh, make a custom Paul. I've been meaning to do that all week. But it was much more mainstream. Um, and it's not. Now hip-hop's mainstream. And hip-hop is looking like it's about to fall off. It's looking like, okay, this this is this era of hip-hop being the most popular genre. We're starting to, starting to get long in the tooth. We're starting to get... We're, we're about to see the end. It, you know, I don't think that's a crazy concept or crazy way of thinking. Yeah, yes, that's a lot of people it, who even love hip hop. I'm like, eh, I think this is getting. Oh, I'm gonna try to do if I see if I can do a Joker cosplay with Paul. Oh, I can't change the color. It's just gonna have to work. It ain't quite Joker, but it's gonna have to work. Um, close. Um, and again, I don't know if that would even be a bad thing for hip hop to go underground. I think it did rock some good because rock is probably, I mean, yeah, you, it's still a lot of hype, right? There's still a lot of hype bullshit, but I mean, it's a lot more based on is your shit good? Yes or no? The answer is no, we're not going to fuck with you. And that's it. Again, it's, there's always going to be, you know, hype mattering and shit and marketing and shit like that. But I don't think it's the worst thing to be non-mainstream. I think, it, again, probably for the better. It's not going to be a perfect joke of cosplay. Give him a forehead tattoo. <laughs> I wish I could. Joke pin, half Joker, half Punisher. The Joker shirt, yeah. I was told the sub metal, uh, sub genre metal. I like it's called groove metal. I looked it up online. They gave you a list of your CD case. So okay, there you go. That, that's the one thing I don't like. And this goes for all music. This one, all these sub genres, and then that, what they'll do, they'll come up with a sub genre name, and it'll be some shit like. It'll be a subgenre, and it's like, yo, I didn't even, 
You know what I mean? I, this this wasn't even a genre when this when this type of music was out, and now y'all just oh now it's all this, it's all this. So, so that, that's the one weird thing about the modern era. No, you got a pair of fucking slacks, jeans, chinos. I guess chinos. They're slacks. Yeah, like I guess I don't think that would be the worst thing for hip hop to be be more underground. I think that's probably a good thing. I think all, I, honestly, I, I'm still getting the mainstream input on fucking everything, man. If if you're telling me I don't have to hear, you think you the shit, you're not even a fart. I'm happy with that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's gonna rap these chests, whatever the hell he has on. Guess we'll just make him like purple or something. It's not the end of the world. Okay, this is not the best. That should make his uh, beard purple too. It kind of, it kind of makes him look like um, what's my man, Hunter J. So we'll do it. Fuck him. A green. Hey, here we go. It's not perfect. I think people get it though. You're not even the far as the craziest lyrics and everything he did did he wrote right? Log Jumper is the man. Talk about Lamb of God. Lamb of God in 07 and I've been all in ever since, yeah. Pantera regularly said to the crowds, we're number one, not a Metallica fell off. Mm. They're a mix of thrash and prog. Okay. I might actually like that shit. Hey, happy dinosaur. White zombie, Pantera, Lamb of God, that type of shit. Groove metal, what is that I see? Sexy red. Yeah. It's like, okay. Go really can, can rap. There's, there's some female rappers that can rap because female rappers seems to be the way. Lil Sims, who I actually, the first time I heard of her was through uh, Central Dildo. Dal could die with uh, Cliff. Fair enough. I mean, there's some females here can rap, but I mean, just the mainstream game in general. I would like for rap to, rap to me was better when it wasn't the number one genre. So I wouldn't mind uh, rap kind of falling out of the mainstream. I mean, again, I don't think the mainstream industry or the mainstream entertainment industry can even Rhapsody. Yeah, there's good female rappers. I don't want to just totally they just female. There's to tons of shitty dudes. So let's not not. I'm not trying to uh, <laughs> cape for feminism or nothing, but it's just it. I, I, you know, I feel like mainstream is falling off across the board. Just it, mainstream anything. So if mainstream hip hop dies and it is no longer the most popular genre, you know, cool beans. Maybe country's gonna be the one that takes over. Cause country seems like it's getting really hot, right? And if that's the case, then that's the case. Even Beyonce wants to do a country album. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. Round one. No, we're both cosplaying. Oh man, I was gonna do that. Nice. That's what's going on. And I'm not a country guy at all. I like much rap stuff I like is old. Fair enough.
That's it. Shit. You know, played. This is my first thing. Oh, he's a red one. Okay. True Boo's making blue milk. It ain't true Boo. I don't know what cows make blue milk naturally. The Boo ain't that true. Is it like a Star Wars reason they're making blue milk? Like, that's strange. Yeah, I got one. I hate country puts them together as fire. <laughs> Word. Well, Jelly, well, Jelly Roll is one of the reasons I said maybe country because like that's a guy who was a rapper. And then I, I, I somebody I had seen the like old freestyle. Like, I kind of remember that freestyle from back in the day. He was a rapper, switched to country, and made all his set success. I ain't saying that's what I'm doing. I'm switching to synth, man. You know, I'll do whatever genre. I'm trying to get good at guitar. So who knows? Maybe maybe I will have a country song in Texas. Been the damn south for like ten years. Maybe I'll just say fuck it. Got Fizz designing two robots and Blender. Shout out to you, Fizz. Fight. I ain't know you knew how to use Blender. You got blue milk. Apparently, that's what's, that's what's hot in the streets right now. <laughs> I don't know. Lead that backswing. Oh, I thought I had him. That's it. Oh, I got it. Oh, man. That's dope, Fizz. Hell yeah, we'll watch it if no. We'll watch it if don't nobody else watch it. Shit. That's sweet. They kind of nerf them. No parents. I'm playing so shitty. I don't know if we're gonna go on uh, ranked. That's it. So you can design a spaceship last. Cool. Now I picture singing about picking your mom on a train station. You broke out prison. That's a real country song. You're being ref that's being referenced. Okay. Thought you were just being a, a wild bigot, but okay, now I get it. Harry Banta titties, what are we talking about? I missed something. There we go. Fizz got inspired. His mind got clear. Oh, yeah, that's right. Ramadan. Fasting is good for you. I need to do some more of it. Jesus. Shout out to Fizz. That was a nice grab. Google fish. Shout out to Zeus. My dog. Not, you know. I, I, I love my dog. I might just make a song about Zeus. Who knows? Man's best friend. Damn it! Man, that was nice. That was good timing. Good timing. That's where Goober Fish, that's where Blue Milk come from. Boy. Yeah, fasting is actually good for you. Went to Costco with your uh, bro and his girlfriend. That's what's up. Shout out to Costco. Yeah, with, with that, I don't know if we're going to go on to rank. 
We'll just probably just keep playing player match. Which, I mean, ranked is toxic anyway. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Fizz, I believe, is Muslim. I could have had that one. I like going to Costco, but with women are sketchy. Fair enough. Hey, Rob Garner, our own Cos um, Cosmo, a.k.a. Wait Down. Why is he dressed like uh, Goku? Same reason I'm dressed like Joe, or I'm trying to dress like Joker, but it didn't come out right. No real reason. Just fucking cuz. I've seen people dress him up like LeBron James, and people just do it. It's just because they allow customization. It almost allows cosplay. Okay, some I guess somebody had to figure out how to turn on this damn game. I gotta block these grabs. Goodness gracious. Nice. Hey, got the notification. Popcorn's done with you too, fair enough. Yeah, I think Sami Zayn is a Muslim. Shout out to the Muslim Muslim folk. Oh, I thought I did block that grab. I missed that. Sheesh. Man, this is so unfun. This is like horrible. I'm not gonna. Okay. You're not gonna engage. doing that a bunch of comedy fucks run this site you want to go off to you on Twitter all right check them out on Twitter oh they got the wait down account rare occurrence golly bro is this for real Yeah, Wook has got went through it. Did he say Sega? They, there's a lot of weird things. One girl says pussy, calls you a pussy. Uh, there's a lot of weird shit that these characters are say. But yeah, Wook has been through it. So I understand them not posting to YouTube. I, I mean, goodness. Especially the last one. It's like, you didn't do shit. You know what I mean? Other channels post way worse shit than that. And it was like, well... Well, didn't they say it was like nudity or something like that? Because you had a video with a hot chick in it. Nice. That happens. Google hates your guts. The reason you're doing anime short star robots, they're more, much easier to design than humans. All right. That's cool that you're doing it, man. Congrats. Hope it goes well. It. Oh no! It's not it. Go! 
Johnny. Did you slip a little nip slip? I'll, I'll leave this time open for view time, but I got to catch a cigarette. No worries. Peace out. If you're dipping. A little nip slip. Glad that you all do it. Can't square the risk reward work. YouTube is not a money making venture. It's a money making venture for a chosen few. I've been at 700 subs longer than, you know, this whole pa pandemic, basically. <laughs> uh, well, since what, 2021? Because obviously I didn't start off for 700. I started off getting on the channel. But, um. It, it's not a money making venture. Ooh, nice, low parry. Damn it, miss. YouTube prompted you OnlyFans? Wow. That's fucked up. That's bullshit. Time you get around 600 subs, you catch enough attention. Hair's flag, I see. <laughs> that would probably make money. I'm surprised you have not done a channel since you did, though. Especially like an AI channel. Worst case scenario. Because those are becoming so popular now. Oh, Jesus. He's hitting with every grab he's going to. Man. Man. Got him. Hey, brutal. Is it hanging in there? No wor worries. But yeah, you can make a channel. Spurgeon about the Civil War. Have an AI channel. Talk about the the left and and the. Um, the conservatives and how bad everyone is and how the, the boogaloo's on his way and the glorious glorious Tim Pool. You'll probably make make a little scratch. Or maybe you won't, who knows? Like I said, YouTube is not And I'm not sure if there was a point where YouTube was a place you could make money, but it's just not now. Oh man, I, maybe I don't know what type of break that is. God, this guy is horrible to play. A reaction channel done, a MAGA rap, there you go. Why are you playing the game if this is how you wanna play? Oh my god, I don't even care if you win, man. What is the point? Dude, just Ah, 
God. Fucking bitch. Just play. You're just running around all the fucking time. Following Dim 2's lead. That's basically all Dim 2 does. I haven't, you know, I say that I haven't watched Tim Pool in four years. Oh, Kotaku's finally falling. Thank the, thank the gods. Thank most, the most high. I wonder how Kotaku and IGN are still in business every day. And those companies provide nothing. Nothing. Get ready for the next battle. Is there really money in that, uh, uh, Dempsey? I mean, I've seen those channels, but it's like I, I think uh, Nasir said I should do it. It's like I grew up on a lot of that shit. I wouldn't have a, a crazy reaction. I'm trying to play guitar now, so what the fuck? I, I, was, I didn't really grow up on metal unless you consider Linkin Park. I mean, they were considered new metal. That, that definitely grew up on. Fast and massively te uh, tones down your sex drive. I'll suggest porn addicts. Try it. There you go. That yeah, prime ain't no joke. That prime is no joke. I don't know if I'm going to get a hit in on this, on this guy. I jinxed myself the opposite way. Sheesh. Start fast. I do not why I'm not addicted to porn. I do need to start fast. That's how I, lo I lost a lot of weight once faster and it is clear for you. It does clear your mind, bro Because you, your body takes a lot of energy digesting If I can at least intermittent fast, I would have lost a lot of weight but I'm eating like a well, I'm, uh, I've eaten worse, but still still not eating right Goodness gracious Oh man. Damn. Some men go balls. The guy thing, uh, back up buttercup's not a big deal. What happened about baldness? Oh, shit, I'm, I got more forehead than the most, so I can't really talk about anyone's hairline or hair. Well, right into that. That's it. Okay, check this out. What is this? Uh, no point to this Get ready oh, American rapper here, Slipknot. See, this is to me, this is the lamest shit on earth. I can't. No, no disrespect to this Black Pegasus person. I can't do this. Like, what am I supposed to? I can't react to this. And you know, I can't do this because it's, it's just it's disingenuous for me to do this. We have a sn snow bunny paying you a hello fresh description. I wish insect stew. We're, we're talking about insect stew, time to cook lunch. But I'm listening. Beanie is awesome. I don't wear it in Cambodia. Oh, you were talking about the beanie with uh Tim Pool. That's where the ball, yeah. He needs to just, I mean, we know he's bald, so I don't get why he wears the beanie. Uh, find reactions to the mass quitting Kotaku it's when the boss said we can't risk another lawsuit like with deadlines stick to gaming that's so that's why they left because they said stick to gaming he wore it to the White House I didn't know he ever went to the White House wouldn't watch it just relevant to kind of say I see get ready for the next battle. a lot of people probably fuck up Tim Pool he don't look like he can but wait does he do BJJ because sometimes those guys you think oh man he'll get his ass whooped it's like, no, nah, this guy really fucking trains. He might fuck somebody up on the low. This girl t uh, say pussy. Call you a pussy. You know, people say saying about the fuck are they saying they ad libs. See? Matter. 
Watched Catch Predator, Chris Hansen recently. Yeah, the P3DO is normalized now. No big deal. Sick. The world we live in, though, man. Wow, can you break a grab on this game? What the fuck? Oh, fuck this game. Okay. Thanks to drag queens, yeah. Something about wooden chip. Yeah, uh, Richard said something about watching old episodes of The Catch of the Predator and just realizing how now this shit is all normalized. And it is. You're gonna need more than just one wood chipper, man. reality Chris Hansen probably worked too hard probably going to waste yeah Goodness. oh shit okay well this is over. oh no it's not be quiet brand I don't know who that is I don't think he wears that beanie because he's bald. <laughs> but it's a high hole turn through port. It, I don't, who knows why he wears that fucking beanie. It's the weirdest thing. Be, oh, beanie is my brand. Let's see. Tim Dumbass. He just, it, it, I mean, it's just. Like, it's okay to look, it's okay to be bald, man. We all, you know, some of us get. Blessed with hair where we can have good hair forever. But most of us don't. It's just how it goes. Tim Poodle. Yeah. I think he's a. Uh, what? I need to be. He's got a quattro under, quattro twin under the PD. Oh, shit. Damn it. That's quick. Got me. Perfect. A nipple. Ugh. Sheesh. That's cool at Tom Jensen. Shout out to Tom Jensen at uh, Smoking the Roast. God, Jesus, this bitch is annoying. Fold him more. Yeah, I don't know what's under his beanie. Not much, am I right? No. no I, I don't follow the, the culture war stuff. Like I said, I mentioned getting Snow Bunny by Candace Owens as a joke. She got fired because she said something. That's just a coincidence. It's okay. You know, you can say anything you want about any other group. Say something about a certain group. And it's, it's a problem. I did 
see something dis just in disingenuous though. Because I saw one of these channels, and it looks like it's catered to black women, right? And they were talking about, oh, yeah, she got her white husband. And it's like, bitch, we know black girls like white dudes. Just, just, just stop. Y'all jealous. Stop it. We know a lot of. A lot of girls in that very chat that had more white meat ran through them doing chick than a Chick Fil A, and now they mad at Cat and someone's got a white husband. Stop! It's not the '90s anymore. The cat's out of the bag. We all know. We know. It's, and it's cool, you know. No, no, you know, Shane, I ain't Dick Felicia. Or Pussy Felicia, you know. Whoever you want to be with is up to you. Stop acting disingenuous. A lot of motherfuckers gonna have to stop that shit, that fake pro black shit. It's like y'all y'all be the ones going for uh white people the most. All y'all want is white people attention. They be talking all this shit. That shit's annoying to me. It's like y'all be the ones care nobody care more about white people person than the fake pro black. It's just the most annoying shit ever. Like, stop. Stop stop faking it, man. I don't get it. I mean, I get it, but it's, it's like, come on. The cat's out of the bag. We all know. We all know. It's all, you know. That's it. They got me. Sheesh. You got a lot of. <laughs> Retro Richard said, a lot of. He said, you write off a lot of ladies. So I'll never date a white girl, Americanized black girl, or Dominican or Puerto Rican. Well, being in the Dominican Republic, I, good luck and God bless you, brother. And white dudes are down. With the swirl. Yes, and white dudes are down with the swirl. We all know this now. This ain't it. It ain't the '90s or the '80s where it was like a shot. And even then, it still happened. So it's like, okay, what are y'all? Who y'all lying to? We all know. Cast out of the bat. It's cool. Ain't nobody even tripping. Hey, Abomination AJ. Cool to see you here. Cool to see here. Make sure you find a white person to help you get an ID. Yeah, right. If you ain't got your ID, how you? How, I I can understand if you like a legitimate like migrant or something, but how can you be in America without an ID? Yeah, Paul is looking old. Round one. And we got him in Joker cosplay. And I don't know what my man. It's a mirror match, so I don't know what shiny suit pants he got him in. I hate mirror matches with Paul because Paul don't got that many moves. So if you playing Paul, you know all the moves I'm gonna do. Damn, nice. Oh, he just tanked up. Got him. Love on the spectrum, though. That's wild. Yeah, everybody like, and listen, everybody like big asses. Uh, happy dinosaur. The interracial, the, the, the cats out of the bag. We know people date each other all different races. It's not fucking 1950. I, I think that's crazy that there are people, black, white, or whatever, that think, oh man, I'm not supposed to date outside your race. Like, are you kidding me? Are you crazy? Like, I'm, I'm not saying. There's nothing wrong with you dating inside your race. You know, that's cool. Whatever. Hey, listen, I'm not here to dig or pussy police any goddamn body. But it's crazy that people actually do it. It's crazy that people... Hey, listen, receptionist. Oh, you haven't heard the word transvestigators? Yeah, you got to transvestigate some of these celebs, man. A lot of them ain't uh, what they present as. These celebs, yeah, a lot of these celebs. I remember back in the day, you used to hear that shit about, uh, nice. Uh, like Sierra and shit. You guys remember her? She's currently dating, uh, Russell Wilson. And I don't know if that shit was true, but. Oh yeah, talk about Jessica Bill. 
She had a nice proportionate. That's a perfect example of a skinny girl with a nice proportionate ass. Shoulder gets bigot. I never heard of that. Never heard of that. Since it likes Diddy and cannot lie, I don't know about that. Round one. I hope not. <laughs> Be bad boy for life. That's. He was always into the boys. It wasn't like bad men. It was bad boy for life. No hope for Taylor Swift. That's somebody who needs to be transvestigated. Yeah, you're going to have to hit the squats. And then do all those crazy-ass exercises girls be doing in the gym. That one, what's that shit they, when you get between the fucking um, leg leg curls and do some weird, weird hip shit. Or do all that crazy shit, hip thrusts and shit. Sierra, she was a, it was C, and she was a singer. She was not a rapper. But I mean, this was the 2000s. I, I, I don't know if she's done, maybe she's done music. I don't keep up with modern music and pop music like that. So she could have done shit just then, but I remember. Oh, Works for me, but not for me. Donuts, yeah, little size don't hurt. Oh, nice little Perry. Said a lot, lot of work for nothing. Squats, lunges. You lunges. You lunges. Um, there's, yeah, there's white girls with big. Some of that's genetic, though. Some of that's genetic. You gotta hit the. You gotta hit a little genetic lottery. Some girl, you know, because you know, I, I joked about Taylor Swift being transvestigated. Which I mean, I have legitimately seen people wondering if she was, uh, you know, Taylor's. A, you know, it's a unisex name anyway, so. The makeup, yeah. Girls, they overdid the makeup stuff. Oh, so you haven't? I thought you lived in New York. How did you not see the caked up uh, woman? I mean, these girls, as Paul's looking like the Joker, these girls look like the Joker nowadays. I mean, it is, it, the makeup tutorial era has to be over, man. Because these girls was able to go on the internet, look up makeup tutorials. Damn, that's it. From the Bronx. You, I would think you would see some, some girl with a bunch of caked up makeup. I just thought they were everywhere. They definitely had a lot of them in Michigan. They definitely, I've seen them in the South. Where it's just like... How much makeup is on your face? You look like a legit clown. Uh, slap this shit on with a putty knife, right? If you're a pear shape. Hey, Jamma Lama. Hey, what's with this gamers? No, white girl. Oh, you were specifically talking about white girls. Well, excuse me. I just started talking about women in general. You ain't seen the caked up makeup? Get ready for the next battle. Clussy. What's Clussy? I don't even know what Clussy is. A great name, fresh meat. Yeah, Jam Yeah, because everybody has a fucking uh, wrench. I have to be the only channel like that. I, I see no other channels with as many mods as me. I just mod everybody. 
If you come around twice, you're like, here, you get a bomb. You, you get a bomb. I, I don't see anyone else like that. And yeah, what's Clessy, uh, Happy Dinosaur? What's a sexy clown woman? Juggalette. Juggalettes, oh lord. I, like I said, I'm from Michigan, so I've seen the juggalettes. With the fucking hatchet in their window and shit. They usually are not attractive. They usually are very odd shaped bitches. I ain't gonna. They're usually like very misshapen hoes, I'm gonna be honest. At least in Michigan they were. They were just these misshapen. Just very misshapen looking bitches. Man. Jesus Christ. Harley one of these. Dino reminds me to go to circus one day. You never been in a circus? Oh man. Totally getting my he head kicked in. Yeah, they, they misshaping hoes. They finna colonize the Bronx soon. Yeah, soy baristas and, and flat asses. If you was from Brooklyn, you would have seen them. Because they, they, they colonized Brooklyn. <laughs> colonized. Or uh, what's the word? Gentrified. Saying clown passy fans, the same clown pussy. Uh, there are some, like I said, jugglers are real. I saw them, I saw them live and in person. Shout out to Fago. Which apparently, not Fago is like a lean thing. Just crazy to see. Get some W's in this bitch. Pennsylvania see so many women with big asses here. Yeah. If there's a will, there's a way. Oh wow, you, you can grab out of that. Finally got a win. That Puritan diet, maybe. You ever walk the streets with uh, a two liter stuck in your butt cheeks? I have not. And I hope nobody has to do something like that. <laughs> two liter in your butt cheeks? What the hell happened? Fight. Oh, Jamal Lemon the track. I don't know what she said. I had a nickel. Oh, wow. Yeah, I, I, I've walked the streets with a two liter, but not in my butt cheeks. Jesus, just like in a bag, like a normal human. No chick from IG looks exactly like anime series Harley Quinn. Hold on, I can't read it now. Wait. Uh, tell all the time she finally did a cosplay and went viral. Oh, wow. Get 
shoe. Understanding the appeal, just not everyone can fly fair enough. I had a girl. Oh, Boy. I have to read the comment after the match. No! Almost got it. Uh, mo yeah, most people are mid. Mid is well, but mid is not cool, good enough anymore. Most people are mid. Hey, a zombie man. But people don't want to be mid. People want to be special. Everybody got to be the main character of their own movie. Thank you. got me big oh i am big as much shit as a uh, fucking such a dildo say you always got fat jumps so i need to lose more weight had a girlfriend L lay lonnie brothers have been so proud of me i see normals by definition mid normal people don't have to ask fair enough uh most yeah most people are mid you have to do spider-man point at spider-man it was autocorrect See, look at it. Since you though. Talk about my big ass gay. The problem all the women want. Yeah, that is that is a, a, a thing. That is a thing. There's a lot of mid men who will settle. Who would be happy with a big booty mid chick. But the big booty mid. See, I, I, I do feel for women in a certain extent. Because a, a three can get penetrated by like. I, I keep bringing up the John Cena story because he said it. John Cena. Which he's, you know, who knows? He does fun boy activities, allegedly. You saw him at the Oscars. But he's he's admitted to, to fucking fat chick. So it's like, well, if John Cena's going to fuck a fat chick, that means there's a fat chick out there that's been fucked by John Cena. Bill from the gas station's not going to get it done if she's fuck, fucking John Cena. You know what I'm saying? So there are guys who are tens. They'll smash anything. They'll smash a chick that looks like a one. You know what I mean? And now she thinks, yo, I've, I've been fucking with celebrities. I'm not about to just accept Joe working at McDonald's. Even if Joe's pro Joe might be really out of her league, but it, it's too late. You know, these girls be fives, been flewed out. But they saw the ass. And so now it's like, well, I'm not about to accept you know, just a regular dude anymore. And so that's that's what ha ends up happening. It's like you got enough rope to hang yourself because guys, you know, guys who are higher than you, girls have the ability to get fucked by somebody that's out of their league and it fucks their mind up. I'm getting fucked up. Is it her name, Amy Schumer? Yeah, Amy, no, Amy that's the other thing. I, I think he did fuck Amy Schumer. And no, she wasn't the fat shit, but that's what I mean. Some four look at Amy Schumer, bitch, is fucking some dude like John Cena with muscles on top of muscles. So again, you know, Bill, he's not gonna smash. And okay, she's a celebrity, fair enough. Or was. Thank you. True that rich. Women choose who they uh fuck. Men choose who to provide for, fair enough. And that, that's why men sit, so many men are out of the game. A lot of men are not uh doing anything. The average man between 18 and 30 is not dating anybody. And then they had the audacity to be so fucking uh stupid to put out this article that said most men are single, most women are not. Well, th there's a there's a problem with that, uh, genius. 
there are more first off there are more women in this country than men so that means most women are actually single they're just getting fucked by some dude they're sharing a dude women have uh, become polygamous with their their vag unfortunately because they'll they'll share a guy rather they know it where they want to know it they'll share a guy lesbianism is not that high so I don't even know how you can publish that with a straight face and not know what it actually means. Nice. Personality considered for serious dating, smash and dash, fuck, no, not now. Yeah, the whole society's fucked up. I wouldn't go out in a dating game. I'm not going. I'm not doing it. Can't can't trust nobody nowadays. I, and I listen, is Nas nice here? Nas nice will uh, share a guy too. Yeah. <laughs> Lesbian still be smashed. Yeah, that's another thing. I've smashed a lesbian before, so I can't say anything. Hey, Lama Jam. Hey, Zax. Yeah, the dating market is 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 scary. And they, you know, half of women are supposed to be single by oh man, twenty thirty. And um, globally, apparently we are our um population is officially retracted. It's global. So that means there are currently across the whole of the the planet more people dying than being born each year which is allegedly which you know i ain't checked the numbers but allegedly the first time since like the world wars so we currently are not replacing ourselves not just um in america but globally and so because so that's fun man this is not fun i'm getting work on checking guys we're not we are not doing ranked <laughs> we're not doing ranked because we're getting tagged part of that is because i did do a little rank and i'm a little I'm, I'm still in the lower levels but in the higher parts of the lower levels right close to the mid level so i'm fighting the red level which is about average for the game but still these are people that are at least solid at the game no more like losers. Oops. I'm the loser. No response for this new Star Wars show lined up every single meeting with Harvey. Having people just as good. Oh, yeah. Man, I think that's why she got the job. Talking about Leslie Hetland. Yeah, she absolutely should be. Um, uh, yeah, she's yeah, this your girl yoga pants. Yeah, she absolutely. Uh, she should be in jail with him. Just like Oprah should be in jail. Oprah uh, was cool with Weinstein. And, and these hoes want to, man. So, yeah. There's a lot of that. I mean, a lot of people was cool with what Weinstein was doing because that's how Hollywood's going. If uh, y'all ain't seen, there's a lot of uh, talk about, uh, what's the dude, Dan Snyder from uh, Nickelodeon. Oprah was a conveyor belt, you said? Let's see, shit. Fed Harvey girls, wow. Happy, uh, doubtful. What, what, what was the question? Jamma Lama asked. Oh, shit. Hopefully, I get some time. Happy, yeah, for real. Hey, I wish you had experienced more of what I did. Um, disabled and awful women my age and didn't be scared to interact with them. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. But be cautious, you know what I'm saying? Don't. Let's go. Me too. I get being afraid of that me too shit. Cause this is becoming like a common thing. Shit, I saw a story, I don't know how true it is. It was, you know. One of those secondhand stories you see. But a girl, no, a guy's dating a single mother. Mother. I, I can speak the English. A guy's dating a single mother. She has an older, uh, like a 16 year old kid. And as she turns 16, she goes to the guy and says, Hey, you're going to buy me a car, or I'm going to tell everybody you're, you're uh, bad touching me, basically. So basically, these this sixteen year old girl is trying to extort a grown man that her mom is dating. 
Now he just leaves the house and gets out of there, and I don't think anything happens to him. But yeah, Jalen Green, he the one dating that old uh, gold digger, or is he the one uh, in a dress? <laughs> or both, or is that the same dude? Jalen Green, I think he plays for Houston, and I'm in Houston, so I shouldn't know, right? He just broke this guy's neck, he's just up. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely losing more than I'm winning this time. So. Try to be patient. I got really impatient, really angry. Off stream. Almost broke everything. Clinton's love. Yeah, they do love the Haitian kids. So you meet someone, get a feeling, go for it. Wasn't good with my woman until late 20s. You got plenty of time. Fair enough. The old gold digger that's, yeah, she's like 40. He's like 21. Nobody says anything about those type of relationships, though. You could be 30 dating a 25-year-old. You're robbing the cradle if you're a man. But there'll be like a 41-year-old chick with a 19-year-old. Actually, I saw another was a 40-year-old with a 19-year-old. Um, and it's like, okay, y'all like them young too, ladies. The cat's out of the bag on that one. Because there's a lot of, a lot of girls who date way younger. And nobody says anything. Nobody calls them predators. No one says shit. And listen, I'm not saying if they legal, it's legal. You know what I'm saying? Just got kicked in the face. I don't kick anything. If it's legal, it's legal. I'm not tripping. I'm not policing. But I just don't like the the um, double standard. That's not right. If it's weird, if a, a dude dates a younger chick. It's weird if a, old, if a chick dates a younger dude. Simple as. Again, I didn't, it wasn't my idea to police what grown adults do. And it's not, you know, even at 19, it's your family job to say, hey, what the fuck you doing with this old lady? You know what I'm saying? They not gonna do that, the fuck am I gonna do? Sixteen with a forty year, that's sick. At least be eighteen. Sheesh. I guess sixteen is eighty percent in some places. I am getting whooped. He's talking about me too. Hollywood crap, the female. I'm 19. Yeah, crap talking to 17 year old. Yeah, female teachers are sick, man. And like I've said, you if you're a, fe uh, a dude, you could be 13. A grown ass woman could predatorize you, have a kid with you, and then you still gotta pay child support when you're grown. It's actually happening. And so it's like, listen, being a predator is sick regardless of gender. But for some reason, we, we have a, and that's like a, a silent thing. We have a silent epidemic of these teachers. And I, it started to become more widely known, but it's still like, we're supposed to act like it's not happening. And it's like, no, it's, there's clearly, guys can be mercenary too. It, it can't happen. You, you do have the younger dude going after the old lady with some money. Get ready for the next battle. The age difference should be looked upon either way. That, that's my that's my gimmick. Hey, if it's not cool when it's a, a dude, it's not cool when it's a chick. Either way. Damn it. Damn it. It is still a kid. It is. I, I agree. It is still a kid. Got him. It is still a kid. I, I totally agree with you. But it is. It is still legal. You know what I mean? We gotta let let them be grown at, cer at a certain point. Not eighteen. It'd be nineteen, twenty. You know. 20 still a kid, you know what I'm saying? 24 still a kid. 
but you, you've grown up to make decisions, so you gotta live with it. But I just don't get why it's okay for a woman to be a predator and it's not okay. You know, just I, listen, I don't want it to be okay for a man to be a predator. I'm with the idea, because I, listen, I'm not trying to date no 18 year old. I'm in my mid 30s. I think that would be weird. You know what I'm saying? What the fuck am I gonna tell 18 year old? Even though, yeah, she's of age, but still, like, what am I gonna say? But, like I said, I don't, I don't think that's right. But, like, I don't want somebody my age dating an 18 year old dude either. I'm not saying that you should, again, I'm not policing, but it's like, that's just as predatory. I never saw the appeal of hookup culture. Hookup culture was a a girl invention. It was their way of tolerating dealing with the dudes that didn't want them. It was like, okay, well, there's a guy who's out of my league and she can get smashed by him, but that's it. And so it's like, well, we'll just hook up. Because most dudes wanted to get married, but then they ended up in the friend zone. Dad's third wife is 25 years younger. Wow. 20 year old teacher's banging his high school. Yeah, that's very weird. And that's become common. Shit, hot girl summer. Yeah, that hot girl summer shit sounds terrible. They really be hot too, as far as uh, STDs go. It'd it be living up to it. It'd be for real, for real hot girl summer. Fuck a guy never come. Yeah, <laughs> fuck a guy never called back. See how he likes. Oh, that's the stupidest idea. Like that's destroyed. Not even the whole Western world. The entirety of Earth. You have destroyed the population of Earth with that logic. Fucked up the combo. Who never called me, but yeah, that, that was a bad idea. Bad call. You know, the whole feminism thing was a bad call, guys. And I think girls are starting to realize that now, but it was a real bad call. Indiscriminately having sex with randos was probably also a bad call. Well, men do it. No, men don't. Some men do. Y'all don't notice the regular dudes. Y'all don't uh, notice Steve down the block who just, you know, Happy to be around a chick. You think he's you think he's geeky Steve is smashing 15 chicks? No, he's not. He'd be lucky to have a girl's phone number. But y'all didn't give a fuck about Geeky Steve. Y'all wanna uh Big Peen, Chad, and Tyrone. I hate to use those, but that's the that's what the internet says. Y'all wanted Big Peen Gene. And y'all y'all judged everything but Big Peen Gene did. Big Peen Gene ain't every dude. Old soul, but marriage for sex. Yo, that shit should come back, bro. I know that sound old school, but that's that should be that should be hot in the streets. Uh, no sex before marriage. It was a good idea. Turns out it was a good idea. Turns out you've been bit, like anyone who had oh it's old school. No, it was good. Cause all y'all did is just all people we did is fuck ourselves into oblivion. I don't nobody love don't nobody love each other no goddamn more. Nobody's getting married. Wasn't that great until college, to be honest. For playing high school girls when I was in high school. 
Well, you did better than a lot of motherfuckers because apparently the new game is waiting to you a grown ass man to fucking high school girl, which is sick as shit. Oh, yeah, how about that? Dating one person. Not having a roster. You're not a fucking NBA team. Why do you have a roster of humans that you either penetrate or let penetrate you? Did you go to health class, man? And again, I have to, I'm not going, I'm not blaming women because I'm just, oh, misogynist. The statistics, most dudes are not dating. The average, the, the age of male virginity is getting higher. So guys are not having all this sex. Girls are, ha statistically speaking, a lot of women are having sex with a very few, a uh, very small percentage of the men. Still a virgin, uh, be that to the final wife. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. I would encourage. I would encourage abstinence, man. You know they call it incel. People aren't incels. Papa Cotton's right. There's no such thing as incel. All those incels could fuck um, fat butt back to fat butt to Becky if they want it, and they don't, and they shouldn't. Don't fuck back fat butt to Becky just to get some pussy. That's stupid. Trying to stomp out the concept of true love. Yeah, they are. And I hope we can get uh, respect for marriage back. Because uh, we, we, we're human beings. We're not reproducing. We have gotten to the point where we don't even replace ourselves across the board. Not just the West. Not just America. The whole fucking planet. The whole fucking planet. Yeah, they succeed. They succeed. Like I said earlier, um, we don't uh, replace ourselves across the planet anymore. First time since the war. Yes, the ward war. Funny mustache went man war. Uh, that more people are gonna die this year than get born, and it's only gonna get worse. And I, I hope there's a way back for the sanctity of the species that is human beings. Most are incels, they just scared little bitches. No, that's not the case anymore, Dempsey. I, I, I told you, they're not scared bitches. There's, they are being smart. More, the, if this was the 90s, I would say that, no. They're worried about me too. They're seeing these girls give the box away to everybody that uh, every time, you know, every big dick jean, big peen jean, this ain't guys being scared or like, oh, I'm just scared of being rejected. No, it's become more, con like I said, a 16 year old was trying to extort her mom's boyfriend. So a lot of this shit is becoming more common and guys are seeing it and they're not doing anything with it. They're focused on themselves. They're trying, you know, focusing yourself king has become a meme. So I disagree. It ain't just, oh, they're scared of women. No, nah. I mean some, yeah, I'm sure that's the case in some cases, of course, right? But I would say the, the vast majority, they just they just reading the tea leaves, or at least a significant percentage is reading the tea leaves. And a lot of them are talking to women. They're getting rejected, man. A lot of these guys are talking to women, getting rejected. Lord knows all the damn black pill male content I had in my fucking inbox. Oh, man, I've been talking to girls. They don't want me because I'm this, this, and that. Is there, is there that, uh, like I said, there's definitely some who apply for that, but telling you and like i said guys they also get rejected if you're a five and you talk to a four that's a girl she she can get penetrated by a nine so she doesn't look at you i mean okay cupid put out there that uh women think most men are unattractive and this was like 2011 so yeah i would disagree not the normal dudes but no, they're calling everybody incels now. That's the thing. It's not just who you think is an incel. Everybody's an incel now. It's not just like, oh, the, uh, they used to say the nerd was, uh, the incel. You know, the guy who's playing D&D &D or whatnot or, or tabletop games, he's the incel. Now it's everybody. And then all these girls are, you know, shout out to the single mom song that I played the other day or last week. 
Uh, but a lot of girls are, are, are popping up pregnant, and it's like that's another thing. Guys don't want to be stepdads anymore, and I don't blame. I don't want to be a stepdad. Step up, fuck that. And I'm not saying that every girl that's a single mom is is crazy, but it's just a risk. And like I, you know, I gave the story earlier. It wasn't even a mom. It was a, it was a daughter. You don't know what the kids gonna do. The risk has gotten crazy. And that Me Too stuff, and like I said, that Me Too stuff really put a damage. That's true, Central Dildo. Being a stepdad sucks. Single mom's an absolute nightmare. It seems like it. Yeah, the family law, family court. There's so much that needs to be reversed. I don't know why this became a red pill channel. I'm trying to play Tekken. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Listen, I ain't trying to blame all women for everything. Uh, it's definitely a lot of social engineering, social media, a lot of stuff at that. Uh, men ain't innocent in it. That top 10% needs to act with more tact. You know what I mean? If you got a lot of girls going with you, don't fuck 50 of them. Cause you, first off, you, you, you're doing damage to yourself. You're not. I don't believe nobody is supposed to just have just dozens and dozens of partners. What in the fuck? I guess she took off her pants. Oh, you call it yoga pants. For another man's mistake, it's not my concern. Yeah. I mean, a lot of like, single mother by choice became a thing, which is crazy. That's just a crazy concept to be single mother by choice. Are you crazy? Like, why would you ever do that? I. It's bad enough the times, okay, the relationship just didn't work out. Or, you know, God really was a psychopath. You had to leave to protect yourself, protect your kid. And, you know, those those situations are bad enough, man. But this single mother by choice, I mean, I know since you deal said don't pay attention to the internet, but if you talk about people just talking about their own lives, what they've actually done, I mean, you'll see girls who, yeah, I got divorced because, you know, I thought I could do better. There was a, the famous girl who got divorced over a one night stand. She had a one night stand with a coworker, and she divorced her husband. And then the coworker left her because he just wanted the one. He just wanted the one night. So it's like, and part of this is social media, man. You know what I mean? A lot of girls they get on fake book, they get on Insta scam, and they see more attention than they've ever seen really throughout the history of mankind in their inbox it's almost like a deer in headlights they're they're overwhelmed by the attention they see and they think well oh shit all these it's like a hundred dudes in my inbox telling me good morning my husband don't know i can leave him for anybody but none of them dudes is gonna love you like your husband none of them dudes is gonna be there when you really need them you know what i'm saying none of them dudes really care about you and it's your job to know that and be wise enough to know that. You know what I'm saying? And I, I don't know if it's just the evolution of humanity with this dangerous technology we call social media that has to happen to where more and more girls have to notice that and recognize that. Yes, I was a single dad. I get it. But still, girls want to take my last name. They're awesome. Blows do be guilty. Men, women are confusing. Oh, yeah. uh, but unfortunately, it's not confusing. A lot of times, it's just multiple dudes and they lie. See, that's why I used to say, oh, man, girls are confusing. No, they just have multiple dudes. And sometimes another dude wins. And that's why they did like you. But uh, somebody else on the roster moved ahead of you in, in practice. 
And I hate to say it like that. Getting the whole that was a perfect time to use that. Oh, that didn't get blocked. Oh, fuck you. What? They not blocking none of these grabs? Okay. Followed you DM, you had a simple conversation, she unfollowed you for no reason. Yeah, either you said something or she had another dude was like, eh, I'll just go with him. You gave her an ick. What what can I say? Gave her an ick, so. Yeah, or she just wants some attention. But it could have been you. You could have said something crazy. I don't know what you said to her. You were talking about Snow Bunny and Dr. Umar. Maybe she said, what the fuck is this guy talking about? <laughs> and say, I'm done with this shit. And he was like, yeah, I'm going to South Africa to Snow Bunny with uh, Dr. Umar. I, that might that have turned her off. Just, I'm just a suggestion. I don't know. I wasn't there. Oh my god, they're letting me well, that that one I'd actually do that. It's fucking game. No, I don't you know I mean you can, but you don't have to. If if you didn't say nothing crazy, maybe like I said, she just wanted attention for five seconds. Or and or maybe had another dude and just went with him. DR is not third world country. Uh, Other places in the third world. I'm not saying Croatia's the third world either. Still. Shit, both of those countries are passport bro spots nowadays. The passport blokes. The passport blokes is going to Croatia. Passport uh bros is going to DR. She and her businesswoman outfit. Oh wow, racist. You know what? We'll time him out. That's such a dildo. You're getting too fresh. Okay, I can do it. Hold on. Where, where you Round three. Uh, 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 I'm still there we go. I got hit for it. It was worth it. It was worth it. Yeah, cool it, dig it. Man, if I get perfected, because I am about to get perfected. Damn it, since you did it all. Come on now. I lost because of you. You're already back. The Clintons help. Since you deal those racism, I had to keep your racist uh, stuff out of the chat, and it cost me the beginning of the round, which ended up costing me the whole round. And I can't blame you for the whole match, but I had other rounds. Oh, 
Shit, that's it. That's it. It's not, I, I can't blame you for that. I can blame you for that round. You don't want to be in a uh, big, you know what? Because you, you're not taking, you need to uh, take responsibility. So you can deal with another, you can deal with a minute trying to figure figure things out. You take responsibility. Shit. want some attention yeah yeah I'm, I'm glad I'm not on social media I mean I am on uh, Insta, Insta scan and I, and I barely check it I'm glad I'm not in the dating market I mean shit I, I, I'm I'm cool man I was going um You know, it'd be different if I was younger. I may feel a little bit more, but now I'm getting close to 40. It's like, it's it's too late for me to have kids for, for me. You know, I mean, no, it's not too late to, you know, biologically, but I'm at the age where you want to be in your mid 50s, late 50s, um, at your child's graduation. Now I'm getting my ass kicked. This has nothing to do with such a This is all me. me. Alright, peace out, Fizz. Peace out, Fizz. Back to life, back to reality. I'm dead. See? Goodness. I guess I am being oppressed. No, you're not. I'm not I'm not here. I'm not here to deal with the, the white victimhood complex either. Oh my god, the liberals. Get ready for the next battle. Go get Eminem to diss you. Diss me? Yeah, right. I always didn't go to your graduation, you knew nobody would show up. Oh man, that sounds all sad. I'm sorry, bro. He's on it. I feel a pussy gripped up. Get ready for the Not 1970. Who, who calls white people honkies? Can't be racist. I love eminent music. That's not what I said. Round one. Fight. <laughs> Every time I hear that, I just think it's a geese. We do say honky is hilarious word. Yeah, I, I haven't heard, outside of this chat, I haven't heard honky outside like the Jefferson or something. That, that was kind of the only place you would really hear honky, like the Jefferson. Honky. <laughs> yeah, it's not like a geese or something. What the hell, honky? Blaming the matriarchy, you gotta blame someone. I just got wrecked. Cracker, yeah, I kind of. I guess you hear that. Heard white flight. You know, being from Detroit, Lord knows I heard of that. Even though they don't talk about black middle class flight, which you know my my family left. Unfortunately, I mean I would go back. I, I would go back to Detroit. Believe it or not, it gets a bad rap, but I still love my city. I don't know if I would stay in the city limits unless it was like downtown or something like that. Damn it. 
man. Chalk Demon. Yeah, since you Diddle came up with all these different races, like Chalk Demon and shit like that, I never heard in a million years. Chalk Demon, Mayo Monkey, all these crazy ones he got off of Black Twitter. It. Thank you. Final Life flight bad gentrification bad. I don't make these moves. I don't like believe that we need to li live in these fucking cities anyway. I mean, as much as cities are the uh, the American, well, at least in America, economically everything is based on cities. So, whatever, man. But shit, cities have gotten so shitty. And overpriced. It's like, just like I said, I live in Houston, but I don't actually live in Houston. And I don't know if I would ever live, you know, I lived in Charlotte, technically the city of Charlotte, you know what I mean? And it was okay. But it's like, you know what I mean? I don't owe a city shit. Nobody owes a city shit. No matter what your race or whatever, you don't owe the city, oh, your presence, the fuck? It could be an experiment. There's a racial slur that hurts white people. Y'all say that, man. It's a lot of... If it, I would believe you. I don't think there's a single one. But there's definitely a lot of this... This leftist shit has clearly gotten to a lot of y'all. Because it's, it's some, you know... Some channels all they talk about. Oh, the left, the left. Oh, is it straight white male? And uh, I even met a dude who was just... Very that straight white male victimhood class. Oh man, you know, if you're a white male, you can't do this. Oh, could imagine if the rain was reversed and what about this? It's like, okay. You say that, but I don't I don't know. Maybe it would be shit. Y'all probably give him shit, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know. And I don't know that everybody's gonna I, I know I feel like you said something like, oh man, if I say the end where everyone to go crazy. I mean maybe, but depends on old or young. If you've seen the Call of Duty lobbies, you just what the fuck is wrong with this dude? Some people will get set off, but some people just, oh, God, fuck, mental illness. Just like a uh, perfect example, even though it was a movie. Fucking Die Hard, where they made John McClane go into fucking Harlem with that sign that says, I hate uh, N words with the hard ER. Some people was going to fuck him up, but the other part, you know, Samuel Jackson, oh, this guy's clearly mentally ill. I'm going to go check on him. Some people was like, man, what's, you know, you good? You. What's, what's happening? Now, in that case, the guy had a bomb and was trying to rob the Federal Reserve. And it was Die Hard 3 was actually a pretty good movie. And it was a movie, so it was fake. But, I mean, in general, not everybody's just looking to be offended. I think that whole leftist thing, everybody, you know, people just getting through their day. The average person, regardless of race, is just trying to get through their day. And I'm not saying, you know, just go ahead and say the N-word wherever you want. I mean, <laughs> I wouldn't suggest that shit. But I don't, I mean, it's, yeah, some people are like, what the fuck? But I don't think, I feel like there's been pranks that prove that I'm I'm not crazy. Stop oppressing y'all. You, you're oppressive to everyone since you did a hush. You're oppressing yourself. Racism is fun. Yeah, sometimes it can't be funny. I can't. Lie. If I didn't think racism is funny, I don't think any of y'all would still be in this chat. Unfortunately, I, I do sometimes find it. Sometimes it's funny when it's funny. It's funny when it's funny. Like anything. And I, I mean, that's the whole thing. Another conversation about edgy humor in general, where sometimes it can be annoying if it's overly edgy and not enough humor. But if done correctly, it's hilarious, right? We wouldn't, there's so many comedians we wouldn't have if it wasn't for Edge Human. That's it for me. Oh shit. That's it. It's the easiest bad thing to make funny. YouTube keeps deleting it. Good. 
White people you need national mixed for Irish. There's some horrible Italian ones. Get ready for the next battle. Internalize yes, you suffer for internalized white supremacy. No, I did not say that. I did not say that. I don't even know what internalized white supremacy is, man. And I'm not the guy who just white supremacy. I'm not that guy. It can't be everyone's problem all the time. Get ready for the it next can't be. Battle. That's a, that's a that's a self oppression. That's self oppression to just blame white people or blame you know anyone. Blame the left. The left is all the left's fault, man. No, you can't you can't live that way. Blame is the conservatives' fault. It's white people. It's black people. It's this. Okay, just chill out. <laughs> Chill out. Jeez. Can't just blame everyone for, you know. Jesus. What a combat. Blame Putin. There you go. Because no matter how racist someone is, they don't be fucking tired. Doesn't make sense. Fair enough. Goodness. Well, I'm getting whooped on. So I blame Nosferatu. Yeah, where is Nosferatu? What the fuck? It's, all, it's clearly all his fault. How dare he do something else? The fuck? <laughs> the chat needs you. Where are you? I never use that term except to reference you saying it, Charlie. That's, a, that's actually kind of a fucked up term, dude. That sounds crazy as fuck. Call somebody a Charlie. <laughs> that sounds nuts. So I never, I would never even use that term outside of the context of you using it. And having to explain it. Because you said it. Seriously, because it's just like, what the fuck? Like I said, I'm not somebody who buys into the institution of the quote unquote omni powerful white like a lot of that shit sounds like you worship white people. A lot of the, the oh Jesus take a rocket to the dick. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This got shot a dick with a rocket. By this cancer this steroid up cancer patient looking robot. But no, it's just like you make white people into like a deity because you just oh man, they're responsible for all your problems. Build down the streets responsible for all your problems. Motherfucker, how? How? Milk Creek. See, look at that. Y'all biggest. Y'all have internalized uh, white hatred. What the fuck? Y'all suffering from internalized anti-whiteness. What the fuck? Listen, there's to some extent when you talk about, okay, there are people with stories where like, yeah, they family would be in a different spot if not for some racist shit that happened back in the day. And I, I can understand that. Right? But that's not much of a story. And if it is, you know, shit, you, you, you got the right to say something. It's cap you know, some of it's capitalism's fault. Spe shit, this it ain't pure capitalism. It ain't unfettered capitalism. It's pretty fettered. But you can blame uh, at least corporatism for a lot of this stuff. You know, blame socialism. A lot of things, you know, multiple things can be true at once. I blame capitalism for the stagnation of wages across the board. The fact that every, the price of everything has gone up. And the wages haven't uh, gone up. I can blame capitalism for that. These thousand people, terrible shit. So, honestly, there's a through line between what we were talking about with the top uh, 
10% of men in, the, in, in this rate, because most, most white people are poor. Or mo no, most poor people are white. Not most white people are poor. Most poor people are actually white. And throughout the history of the country, most people were just battle. poor. So it's like, I can't, when they talk about the white man, they're talking about like the five, the top 1%. And they're, oh, oh, that's cool. Homelander cosplay. And uh, they're fucking up everybody. Right? Homelander versus, or I don't know if this Homelander is supposed to be Superman. It looks Homelander-ish, though. That's actually pretty cool. So I don't know. Are we talking about these heavy subjects? Let's fucking, this, this a dude. Dresses the Joker fighting the dude dresses Homelander. And we're sitting there talking about fucking racial politics, dating politics. The fuck? Look at all these heavy ass subjects. I'm sitting there trying to figure out. I guess that is the stream. I'm trying to figure out how to not get my ass beat, which has not been working. I've been getting my ass handed to me this whole time. We should have talked about these crazy ass subjects this whole goddamn time. Watch the old school game commercial. Wondering why games don't release on Groundhog Day. Completely spiral. I don't know if I caught that. I feel like I misunderstood something. Viking. Oh yeah, you, you are like a Viking, aren't you? That's an ass with him. Trying to know that white <laughs> so I get it. Oh, you trying to say uh they think white uh people are spineless? I don't know. I think that used to be a thing, but there's enough I mean when I would post social media. We see enough white people in the hood doing crazy shit. I mean, shit, Eminem got bullied when he was younger, so it definitely is something too. I can't, I can't, uh, I can't deny it. Totally. But I don't know. Like I said, I think the average person is trying to get through their fucking day. Five less daughters caked up. Word. I heard she looked like Brock. They should get none of sable genetics. Oh man. I think you said that. One of y'all said that. He's alright, man. Hell monsters. What the hell? <laughs> Dude, that's fucked up, bro. That's fucked up. And shit, like I said, we're not replacing ourselves across the board population rise, so a lot of us is just gonna go anyway. With no with no replacement, man. I need to be consistent and uh block you for the anti white racism as much as the other shit. Thank you. Get around. Yeah, I forgot all about the dude who set himself on fire, you're right. Some good that did, right? I forgot. 
I think we have something to do with like, the Hamas, Israel, Palestine thing. <laughs> Spun on the ground. Yo, it's one dude. Yeah, everyone forgot. Now, I think maybe Miss Sister Ditto said it, it could have just been where he was just already feeling like off in himself and just made that as the excuse. So it could get more attention and mean more. I can buy that. That tracks. Going to the wall. Anybody been in a gunfight? No. I got some friends that they got shot at, but I've never been uh, in a gunfight, never been shot at. Thank God. I ain't the most high. This was a protest against the tunnel people. Hey, you can't, can't say too much about those people. Look at Candace Owens. She was working for him. Get your black ass out of here. Shout out to Candace Owens. I still hit it. I still hit it. And I don't pay no attention to what a woman says anyway, so I don't care. I don't disagree with her politically. I just think she's a pick. It's not her what she's saying. It's just her the way she moves. She's just a political pig, pig me a lot of people. She just a, she is a grifter, man. That grifter turn, you know, a lot of people get upset when you call them a grifter, but I mean, it's the reality. And I'm not necessarily mad at it. Shit, I'm on YouTube myself. Wouldn't mind a few extra. I was about to say shekels, but I don't want to get uh, canceled. But I, don't, I wouldn't mind a few extra pennies <laughs> myself. You know, you can get to the cash app if you like. But uh, yeah, it is what it is. All the the politics shit is grifting, man. There's a sp alien in the background. <laughs> I just noticed there's a fucking alien, a UFO in the background, fucking, fucking things up. I like the money, don't it? Hey, it's all right. Oh, yeah, you did grow up in the war. Well, I mean, I've heard gunshots. I, uh, I've ever seen guns. Never got shot at personally. Never got to a shootout. Time's worth more than money, fair enough. So bro can't even pay attention, waka waka, I feel you. I'm so broke, that's what I'm trying to ask y'all for money. I'm broke, I ain't got no money. And then I'm getting scammed by my electric company. That's a whole nother can of worms that got me ready to jump off a building. Literally, I'm feeling, well, that's a, you know, whatever. They pull up to the DR, fair enough. All your extra cash going to your license and guns. 
I may be ugly, but at least I ain't got no money. Fair enough. Oh, man. I hope you're okay, uh, LR, a.k.a. OG. Said I got to go to the hospital battle. twice for the future. Yeah, don't give me. I ain't that brutal. <laughs> like, yeah, give me your money. Even though I don't care about your fruit. No, I ain't that, that man. I hope you uh, I hope you okay. You know, uh, pray for, you, for LR, man. Hope your health can improve. Investing in an impression machine. Well, good luck. I don't. I wish I had an OnlyFans. Shit. No, I, I don't. Battle. I do not want OnlyFans. But hey, you know, hit, hit the cash app if you really want to toss some, some bread my way. <laughs> and eventually, I'm gonna uh, toss in some merch. Fight. I've been bushing on that. We're actually gonna change characters after this one. This set. Mom is going to pay for it. Cool. Ah, oh, my mom. My man. That is a bitch. That is a whole bitch. I'm just going to that. It's like that Family Guy skit. Skits that I have 30,000 uh, credit card debt. I got that much, but I do got a lot of credit card debt. When they call, I tell them I won't pay it back yet. Credit card debt. Bag of dicks. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and not. I'm not really interested in a bag of dicks, personally. No disrespect. No uh, no shame. No kink shaming, if that's what you're into. Sneeches. It's a candy site, candy dicks. That's crazy. Round one. Fight. job <laughs> uh, you got a job offered by a company owned by P Diddy at uh, VKM well odds are you're going to have to give up the draws as long as you're not to give up the draws you'll be okay shit you could be a rap star and a wrestling star at the same time you give up the draws I don't know if he owns companies either Especially when it came out of he didn't really own Surat. Oh, man. Come on. I he, he was advertised for Surat, but he didn't own shit. Something about Nazi sneeches. Customary children to the suits. They canceled it. That was that was crazy. They canceled Doctor Sue. I can't. I can't look at the chat. He said the bus is gonna be leaking. You ain't lying, bro. Sick fucks, man. The whole entertainment industry is filled with sick fucks. Oh, 
All righty. Oh, that's sick, Papa Cotton. And you're not wrong. They got them in schools. And then if you want to take them out of schools, they act like you're a conspiracy theorist. They won't even let you read some of these books in the meetings. Like, if you go to a... a and we're going to get a little practice in. And then we're going to go online with a different character. But, bro, if you take one of those books and you try to read them in front of a school board meeting, they won't even let you read the book. Even though they, they'll put it in school for your third grader to read. It's sick. It's some real sick shit. And they just want to hide it from a lot of these parents. A lot of these parents still don't know what's going on in their schools. R.I.P. Discount Superman. Shout out BLM Pump. Forgot all about BLM Pump. Can you do this? Okay, I'm trying to remember combo. Getting across the concept of compression and racism across on child level. Yes, they can't figure it out. That's too much for that. That's far too much for a kid to even think about dealing with. These six nine girls, Bussy's most difficult task I've ever had in your life. What in the world? Got a hamstringer first. What? Anti racist baby book. That's crazy. That's the thing. Like, your kids don't understand that. That's the cool thing about kids. They'll, like, cut their hair and say, oh, we look like brothers. They really think that it'd be a black and a white kid. They got the same haircut. We look like brothers. They really do think they look like brothers. They don't know no better. It's not even a big deal for them sometimes. And that's cool. That's, you know, that's why kids are all cool and shit. Yeah, the schools are filled with child predators, unfortunately. That's, that's, you know, and that's the sick part about these schools, man. And the, the worst part about it is that it's just become normalized. And that a lot of people just send their kids to these schools without thinking twice. They just, because the, these schools are just, <laughs> Bridge probably caught my every from the tall chick. Shout, shout out to the tall sisters. They need love too. Um, but no, these people have been teaching, uh, treating these schools like a fucking, um, what's the word? Daycare this whole time. You know what I'm saying? And so as a result, they don't really give a shit. They just need to be without their kids for long enough to go to work, which I kind I get. Got to pay these bills, but you got to pay attention to what the fuck they teach your kids. That's why a lot of people, you know, a lot of these parents sent their kids to some prestigious little university, all for their uh, kid to come back with green hair and talking about the patriarchy and hating them and, and all this other shit. And it's like, you know, you didn't pay attention. And I get it. It's designed for you not to pay attention as a parent because, you know, you got inflation, you got all these shit with bills. We just talked about how difficult relationships are in general. So your wife is probably fucking some other dude she's seen on Facebook. You ain't got time to uh, pay attention to what they're teaching your kids. But you got to somehow. 
listen, I say this chat. Being on YouTube, I've seen more stuff about race in this four years than my entire life, maybe a hundred times over. And that's nowhere near an exaggeration. If anything, it's less. Because race was never a major issue in my life. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. Money was. Money's always been a major issue. I've been broke my whole life. But it's never been race. I never, I was never like 13, 14. But damn, our license turned off. It's the white man's fault. Like, that never happened. Ever. It never even could. I didn't even consider blaming white people my entire life. Maybe I should have. Since that's so hot in the streets. Maybe I was missing out. But I, I, I totally never thought about race as a youngster. Except trying to fuck white girls. And I don't think that counts. I was just trying to fuck girls. It's not like I wouldn't try to fuck black girls too. Or Spanish girls or Asian. Whatever girl I could come across. I was young. <laughs> I wasn't successful with that, but you try. Yeah, you're not wrong, Dempsey. The rival school. You was angry at them than you was some race. At least, I mean, I think you're a little older than me. To voter ID. I've had an ID since I was 16 year old, like every other adult. I, you know, even before you get a license, you can get um, the state ID. So yeah, I had a. State ID like a normal person. Like, stop listening to conservative Twitter <laughs> or, or leftist Twitter, whatever, whichever one puts forth this garbage. Don't listen to him, it's bullshit. We're racially profiled by people who are in the lower food chain, Mexican Ecuadorian. It just happened that rival was hundred percent black. Just question this Dempsey. No, he didn't say that. You dig it? Yeah, that that you're right. It was the left thing. But a lot of times the left will come up with something, and then cuck servitors will start just parroting it as like it's a thing. And they'll take it way more serious than they should. Like uh, shit, like that should. That has say ID work. Yeah, same here. It's like everyone else in the fucking America. It was a school that was all black, um, or like that, but they weren't arrival. See, there's more stuff in rival. But yeah, I, I did see that Ecuador. Uh, not Ecuador, I just, you said Ecuador. That uh, in the DR, there's a lot of, a lot of stuff. But a lot of races have different things. That's one thing I. I, I I dislike about some of the quote unquote pro black. They just act like no other race has issues. I have seen people on the internet say, oh, you don't see white people talking about that woman. I'm like, bullshit, bullshit. I, I, I can name thousands of videos of thousands of, of white men talking about white women. It's like one of the hottest topics on the fucking internet. Are you crazy? But people believe it. You know what I'm saying? Because. Trying to relearn his combos. Let me just go on the move list. There's that like, oh yeah, just no one has it worse than us. Like, I mean, sometimes, but sometimes, you know, people got all sorts of shit going on. Nothing can be worse than a race. Yeah, that's sad, man. A lot of people are on, are on that tip, man. Racist towards their own people. I don't get it. Man. I don't get it. I don't get it. I can't even just say it's a black thing. I saw. I've seen a lot of. I didn't know. Co like the, the whole color is a thing. I guess I'm quote unquote light skin. Well, light brown, whatever. But man, I saw. Apparently, a lot of Mexican people deal with that shit. Oh, it's darker, you really lighter. I'm like, man, that's crazy. Human beings find a bunch of uh, crazy reasons to hate each other, man. I, I don't know what to say. I'm just a, a ninja out here trying to play second, man. I don't know.
Sorry, I'm actually trying to make these moves. So I can't uh, <laughs> have meat to press right now. Whatever this shit, this shit becomes. What about the geopolitics in the Middle East? While vigilante, while vigilante wins and plays a fucking video game. Is God real or not? While Vigilante wins and plays a fucking game, find out. Another very difficult, crazy conversation. Remember we just talked about Puppy? Shout out to Puppy. I call my dog a Puppy even though he's grown. I think I can never introduce my children to true Dominican culture. It's sad when the population dies off soon. I know Dominican is going to be first place here. All right, it, it will. Uh, you have two cats, Tom and Artemis. Those are different names. We're not this land. One starts to zero the actions. The words making goes up and down from the scale from there. Fair enough. Shout out to listen. Shout out to cats. Shout out to dogs. Ever heard the term now? Never relax around blicks. I know. What the hell? I know playing black weeds. You don't have to worry about that shit. There's a re I never heard of never relax around blicks. I don't even know what blicks is. Or is that supposed to be blacks? Black weebs. So I'm, I'm lost. Uh, dog is black, so I can't be racist. That's what they all say. Have a good night, happy dinosaur. Cat is a ghost. He's gray. Dominican is way too colorless. It's mostly black, and it's not the dudes. Well, that's messed up. Thomas Gray with black stripes. Artemis is a bingo ocelot. Ocelot. What is it? Ocelots are wonderful creatures. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm going to just get online and get whooped on. I'm not sure. I'll, we already got two hours, so I'm not probably going to play too much with Victor. We just play just enough to try to learn another character definitely like I'm playing rank does feel though it does feel nice when you walk on a leash shout out to dogs not being racist uh just the most darker people I've known you gotta stand on your toes really but you you we've established you lived kind of a different life than most people in general like most of us didn't trap you know what I'm saying <laughs> You were trapping, so I mean, it's just, of course, most of the people around you are going to be dangerous and gentlemen. Uh, I think it's a belief that the Dominican guy who looks white has more money. I see. It's weird. Get ready for the yeah, I mean, you were, you were a trap star, so it's like <laughs> you were a Caucasian trapper, so yeah, I'm sure you probably did think like that.
The people are crazy. That colorism thing never. Cause I never got any light skin privilege. That's why I always got mad at. Like nobody ever just said, "Hey, you light skin here? Here's, here's just extra shit." <laughs> like it's never happened. I gotta fight Dragon off crazy ass. Oh, that's cool. The white angel of death. Round one. Fight. Let's go with this shit. Say South American whites are rich, which is hilarious to me. Really? Jeez. Hit the whole combo, yeah. Uh, I've already made my day. Die? Jeez. The boars. Yeah, a lot of South Americans, that, you know, like the Germans at least, they may or may not have been Yahtzees. Maybe. South Africa, okay. Well, I'm, so I, now I don't know what's going on in this conversation. Let me just try to finish this damn game. Guys, combo. Damn it. Portuguese, mostly in Brazil. Dominican can't judge you for everything you do unless you're a millionaire. A lot of people are just judgmental in general, though. In general, I mean, I'm glad I don't really have to deal with people's like opinion of me at all. I could, you know, I could just ignore it. Except y'all, I don't really care about y'all opinion. I mean, I do some, but not since you did those, right? Oh, wow, no break. That's cool. German speech of South America, South America will trip you out. Yeah. It, it, it's, it's a lot of this, you know. That's where they fled. And that's not even alleged. Can't blame this generation. Yeah. Ain't they fault. But, let's 
the thing. Trying to joke, not on my watch, my keyboard. Three vials in a row. Oh, gee, another victim of leftism. What's going on? What's going on? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm not looking at the chat. We are going to be uh, in Canada, show. yeah? By leftism up there. Shout out to Trudeau. We are going to be ending this stream. We're, we're hitting two and a half hours. It's got to be like one. God, I was late, so it's got to be close to two o'clock. And I'm sitting there trying to learn a character on the fly. So this ain't gonna go well. Um, get ready for the next battle. We'll see. We'll see if I can get a win. If I can get a win, I might just end it on the win. Because I'm, you know, still learning Victor. It's my first time really playing with him online. Typo's better than saying can instead of can't. Whether you're saying you can or you can't, you're correct. I'm getting whooped on. Fuck Argentina. Okay. See if I can be busy. Fuck the flat earthers. Fight. Fuck the globe and the flat earth. 313, fuck the free world. Our team was at the name of the girl that blocked you. I doubt it. 
how can we people say the earth is flat because um they have satellites and cameras well people are not gonna let the truth get in the way of a good story Crash is flatter than the earth, fair enough. Round one. Fair enough. Fight. Stop fucking this up. Don't pick ass flat. Don't pick on flats. People can't have everything. Fair enough. Nice side step. The fuck was that? Only peel the bull with people. Fair enough. Finally hit that bitch. Goodness gracious. I should have been deaf and I fucked it up. Gotta be a snow bunny the way it's acting, fair enough. This game is snow bunny and me. I don't gotta blame myself, I'm playing shitty. This is just one of those days. I'm sick of fucking up this combo. I'm just messing up everything. Oh well, I'll get better at it. That's it. It wasn't me with Jesse Lee Peterson makes uh, perfect sense to you that you may be a black man who's sexually attracted to white men. <laughs> I don't know. I don't listen to much Jesse Lee. Some stuff he says is okay. But I, I think he's, um, I think he likes the, the, the Caucasian bussy. That's my theory. Because I ain't, you know what I mean? And I know why you like Jesse Lee Pearson is a troll. He is a professional troll. I can tell you that for sure. He's a he's a troll, and so that's probably what you like about him. Make up for a lack of assets in him. Fair enough. Why is it I cannot do this? Nice. Sandwiches, shot sandwiches. So you probably just like Jesse Lee because he's such a fucking troll. And you're a troll. You, you, you see a kindred spirit. And he's a troll who doesn't give a fuck about what he says. So it's like, I can see, I, it makes sense. It tracks, to be honest. Nice, that's it. Offering sandwiches because he's after your bread, bro. That, that's that's red pill. Keep fucking up this combo. Oh my god. I just, you just, this is a game that you have to just spend time with. And I haven't really been playing it throughout the week. I played it like maybe once or twice. If you don't, you just get fucked up. This show. Hopefully by Sunday I'll have gotten a little bit more time on it.
Got him. Taking the Cheesecake Factory. Shout out to Cheesecake Factory. I'm talking about. That's, a, that's why I feel no guilt time you out since you did it. I don't like cornbread, by the way. You, you fucking bigot. I know you're talking about rich. Maybe he does. I don't know. He's down. She's so fucking bigoted. I don't know what Mango is. Cornbread and chili is S tier? Hard to find good cornmeal. I love cornbread. Let's see, look at that. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to go off on a win. I think if I could get a win, I would just leave. I'm, I'm fucking up combos and fucking things up, so. Oh, fuck it up. This is a circus, right? Oh, fucking world is a fucking it's clown world for sure, for real. This is a ladder cut. It's like bacon more than cooking. There you go. Oh, I got it perfect. Man, I hate to do this to you, Kazu. If I get this win, I got to go. Because I ain't going to get a win. Swim up past the breakers and watch the world die. Hepatitis, man. What the hell? What is I missing in the chat? First win with Victor. So I hate to do the one and done, brother. But it's two and a half hours of playing the game and streaming. So sorry, Kazu. You just got to live. Never knowing if you would win this uh, sequence, which you probably would have. But uh, 28 chapters, not even on the midpoint. Yeah, you probably do need to add it. Hey, Nosferatu. You, you picked the worst time. We are leaving. We're two and a half hours in. Where the fuck you been? Who told you to have a life? The hell? The time y'all was just for doing other stuff. What the fuck? No, but we're we're getting out of here. We've been talking about heavy ass conversations while I'm trying to learn characters and play fucking Tekken. And I have been getting whooped on, so I'm happy to get a win. To leave. I can't play anymore because there's no way I'm gonna get another win.
I mean, I guess I could talk, but I'm done playing. Tekken, I'm, I may need a backup game because Tekken melts the brain. It's just f too fucking hard. It's too fucking hard. Hell no. Go another 10 hours and play Deus Ex. I'd rather put my face in battery acid. Jesus Christ, that was rough. That was rough. Play Pokemon Emerald? No, I'm not playing nothing. Playing Symphony of Night, okay. And some more games like Vampire Survivor. I've been meaning to play Vampire Survivor since they updated. I guess I could talk for a little bit. Hell no, Richard, any new plugs? There you go, shout out to the plug. I mean, I, you know, I haven't smoked anything this whole stream. I've been sitting there, I'm sitting there streaming sober. I got Halls of Torment. I played that on stream. Um, I played it on stream, similar to Vampire Survivor. Uh, I've been rebirthing up to an autistic level. You got to be close to the end, right? Question mark? No. Nice. 20 minutes till dawn. The fuck you waiting for? Smoke? I'll probably smoke after the stream. I'll probably smoke after the stream. I don't know why. I've just been so focused on trying to play Tekken. No wonder I've been getting my ass whooped sober. I didn't even think about it. Should have smoked before. But the problem is I, I slept, overslept, so I was late. And then I had to rush to get the stream started, so I didn't even think about it. Some shit just happened, made your jaw hit the floor. Plus called them spice giblets. Whoa, what the fuck? Bigot. But I appreciate you being here, Kai. Appreciate you being here. Where Kai been lurking, maybe? Yeah, cause I think you might have been here earlier. We're uh we're we're wrapping up, but Nas here, so I'm talking. I need to do more talking streams and more on camera stuff. I haven't in a while. Nas kidnapped him. Whoa. Okay, nineties Eminem. I day drank playing it, woke up to complete darkness. Wow. Dark. 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 I've been here from the start, been muted on and off while you're doing stuff. Fair enough. I'm happy to be background noise. That's that's what she said. I appreciate anyone watching this for any reason at all. Yeah, Viz, you don't talk enough during the movies in the theater. You ruined white man. I was like four when White Man Can't Jump came out. You serious? You serious? I watch names and chats, occupational hazards, fair enough. Blokes gonna colonize the ugly women, fair enough. Whoever lurking. No, you're not gonna get Snow Bunny. I appreciate you lurking. Please leave a like. We got 15 likes. I'll take that. I'll take that. Please leave a like. If you like the video, please like the video. As the kids say, or as I say. Which I think I've been saying since I started. If you like the video, please like the video. Someone will have to watch those early vigilante streams with the fucked up, more fucked up mask. Have I fucked the fat? I, you know what? I can't. I can't act like I, I have fucked the fat chick for weed. Nice. I'm guilty as charged. I know you're talking about Central Dildo. But I don't know. Do they get his? I don't think they get as fat in Eastern Europe as they do uh, here in the West. I know you. You don't believe he's Croatian, but I do. So I don't think they get as fat out there. Maybe I'm wrong. Do they get fat out there, uh, Central Dildo? I don't hate white people, and I'm not gonna call a male monkey just because you call, just because you're a, a bigot, bigot. You're a real one's part of man of experience. Pull a Johnson. Oh, yeah, I fucked a lot of fat chicks, bro. I've been chubby. Now I'm like morbidly obese. But I used to be like chubby or skinny fat most of my life at best. Skinny fat, okay. got all kinds flat and thick. Okay, I didn't think they get got too big out there. But I guess they're getting fat everywhere now. Build as Croatian as I am, Sub Saharan Yakubian. Yakubian is not a real race. Jacob's not real. I don't care what the hotel told you. That's some weird internet shit. Jedi governor blows. Governor. Fat chicks aren't ideal, but they boost morale. Get up the kid. <laughs> Says something. Kidney stuff. <laughs> I had never heard that phrase. There's some truth. There is some truth to that. I had never heard that phrase. Nas is always coming up with new, innovative, crazy shit to say. That I must give you. They put the effort in, yeah. I used to say customer service, man. It's like Chick-fil-A. 
Chick Fil A. It's Chick Fil A's kind of mid, but that customer service is so on point. You still find yourself going back. Never smashed a fat chick. I would say unless you actually think she's attractive, don't do it. Unless you like a girl, don't fuck her. We got to get back to that. We, we've talked earlier about how fucked up the dating market is and society is as as dating. Don't 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 fuck girls you don't like. Don't do it. It's not good for you. To me, it's not good for your own self esteem. I'm not sucking y'all dicks or nothing. But this channel, why I made another account. Seriously, this channel kicks ass and chats real as fuck. I'm fucked up. You know what, Papa Cotton? We love you too. We love you too. I, we we were wondering where the fuck you were. Oh shit! And shout out to Brutal Morningwood for uh, organizing thing. I still don't know why you couldn't post a message. See, that's another reason I don't want to get mad at the lurkers. YouTube is doing something janky, so there may be some reason that you can't post messages unless you have enough subs or shit. So there might be people lurking who want to post, but they just can't. The treasure trail. Whoa. Uh, y'all seen Black Yellow Flow? I didn't see there was a Black Oh, man, that's kind of jank. You can't, you know, I mean, it might be funny, but it's like, damn. That Dracula flow was so hard. Oh, man. I guess we can watch it. Why not? And there's other Dracula flows. Oh, no. That's that's lame. That's lame. So when the internet comes up with an original idea, the internet will ruin it. But let's... Let's check out Black Eater Flow. Let's see how it holds up compared to Dracula. Party Trail, bro. It's all worked out now. Cool. I don't watch any. Man, I, that's that's so cool, man. So I don't watch any YouTube with Sicily is bitch. That's cool, bro. The only plane I was on during 9-11 was a different plane of reality. This shit, ain't, this shit ain't nothing to me, man. I'm smoking on them Tennessee taint ticklers. I'm on that Baltimore Brambo looking for a tangerine dream. But my nightmares have become eternal. I'm on that habanero scarab gas station dick pill pack looking for amethyst in a timeline only I could see. I'm on that shit they found in Osama bin Laden's computer. I was sucking toes at the beginning of time and I came into the primordial soup that got the fishes walking. I caught your bitch hooking up with the installation wizard and he sold me some unwise shit that got me acting in a manner unbefitting of a gentleman. I'm on that aspartame. I'm on that microplastic Mamma Mia T virus shit getting higher than Amelia Earhart before all that mess. We smoking cereal right. in a glass pipe and you fucking try to stop me, I'll kill you, you stupid piece of shit. Ain't nothing borderline work. about my personality disorder. I'm hard in this shit and I will continue to walk life dick forward. Alternative medicine made me develop psychic abilities. Now I can sense pussy in a six mile radius. Had a J.O. sesh with the fellas that opened my third eye, and now I'm permanently under the influence of psilocybin. I'm on that Sahara Sunburger dick smell, taking shrooms from a dragon that called me slurs from a nomadic language. I'm on that Alabama Alawa ayahuasca thunderfuck looking down from a cumulonimbus formation. Spying on your bitch from the It's not as funny, angle. man. This shit ain't nothing to me, man. You must got COVID. -19. It's not as funny. See, everybody, like I said, you look, there's other emulators. Sonic Flow. Look at all this shit. This is the OG. This is the authentic. This Dracula Flow from Plum Court Records. That's the authentic. Hey, this is a good stream. Then is the Dracula Apostles Flow. Look at this shit. Yeah, that's not freaky washing us. I don't know what that is. Yeah, that shit that shit is something to me. It's not it's not not the same. It's okay. It's okay. Just not quite the same. So what the hell? This is what uh your boy Nas got for us. This looks another, familiar. Another shot of Dagoth brandy for me. Why not? Uh that's good. Say, Nerevar, you ever notice how high elves make up two percent of the population yet own ninety percent of the banks and ebony mines? Hmm. I always thought that was strange. You know what else is strange? They always call the Nords anti-Altmeric, but they never say why. Anyway, did you hear the rumors about Crassius Curio? 
They caught him diddling some Argonian kids and then threw him in jail. I don't get it. Apparently had a private island off of the Gold Coast. Later found out the emperor and many other members of the houses were involved as well. He apparently killed himself a month later in his cell at Fort Moon Moth with no witnesses around. Elder Scrolls, okay. Come to find out he had dual citizenship in the Somerset Isles. How peculiar. Hmm? What's that? You want to know about the Oblivion Crisis too? I can't say much. Like I get the references to Epstein or whatever. And it's Kanye high reference. Elves right when the Oblivion but I didn't get open. what he was Probably referencing in Elder Scrolls. I never played Elder Scrolls. I think not. Look, all I'm saying is Pelinor Whitestrake did nothing wrong. Oops, did I say that? Pardon me, you know how I get when I drink. Anyway, pass me that skooma pipe. You've been boofing that shit all day. See, if I play Elder Scrolls, I might be entertained. I get the references he's talking about with, like, the Kanye stuff. I, 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 I didn't see Elder, I didn't play Elder Scrolls. So I don't get I can't grasp how base this is. So yeah, this is from he, he it was the joke was he was he was supposed to be like Kanye on um Alex Jones. And he was supposed to be talking about stuff in the Elder Scrolls land, but it really applies to like, you know, there was an Epstein reference and all this other stuff. So I didn't get it because I, I don't get the base, you know. Sorry, man. I tried. I tried, guys. I, I gave it to the old college try. It's 2.15 in the uh, morning. It's 9 in the afternoon, if you remember that song. And it, it's time to go. Yeah, it was a bit. It was a bit. It was supposed to be like a Kanye West on um, or Alex Jones slash Elder Scrolls joke. But I don't get Elder Scrolls. So I didn't get the joke. In any event, guys, it's been fun. It's been real. It's been real fun. So I'll talk to you guys later. If you like the video, please like the video. Hey, we got a um, <laughs> we got a, a bot on Twitch, and oh, Bethany and a bot on Kick. So we had bots. Shout out to the bots and the thoughts. So if you like the video, please like the video. If you're so obliged to share, subscribe. Yes, yeah, so six million. Holy shit. Um, if you're so obliged to share and subscribe, please do that. And even if you do none of these things, thank you for watching. Thank you for your time. Good night and God bless. You got what you get from. You got what from? Do you say if you like the video, please like the video? Is that is that catching on? I've been saying that for years. Uh, yeah, boss, please leave a like. Shout out to the boss in the thoughts. Goonie Goo Goo, shout out to Eddie Murphy. That's where I know that reference from. So are you who I got that from. So I'm not sure what you, uh, so, oh, it's been real. It's been fun. It's been real fun. No, I made that. I, I think that's just something people said. So, no, I might have got that from you. I don't know. I just said it. I don't say that that often. In any event, I'll talk to you guys later. Oh, tomorrow, Synthway Saturday night on the music channel. Please go to the music channel. We'll be Synthwaving and playing music and all that other good stuff. Six million. I don't buy those numbers. Nah, who the fuck is buying albums anyway? I didn't buy. I haven't. I'm just not listening to that fucking um, carnival shit. And I don't really. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> the fuck is Goonie Goo Goo, Gus? <laughs> I bunny, she's a Bigfoot. You married a Bigfoot. You married a Bigfoot. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. I got to go.